All right, let's take a look at the example questions for our if-then statements lesson. Example A says, use the statement, I will graduate when I pass calculus, and then rewrite it in if-then form and determine the hypothesis and the conclusion. So first thing we need to do is figure out what the two parts of the statement are so that we can rewrite it in the if-then format. Sort of the proposal here is that he will graduate. So one part of the statement is, I will graduate. And then the other part of the statement is, when I pass calculus. So the two things that are going to happen is that he's going to pass calculus and that he'll graduate. Now, based on the way it was written originally here, we can see that the graduation is, is going to happen after the calculus. And that's fine. But to write this in if-then format, we need to say, uh, need to put the proposal first and then the conclusion afterward. So we'll put the hypothesis at the beginning and then conclusion after that. And that's exactly backwards of the way this is written currently. So what we need to do is write this as if I pass calculus, then I will graduate. Yeah, so now we have it in the right order, and we can easily determine the hypothesis and the conclusion because we just had to identify those to write it in if-then format. So our conclusion, of course, is I will graduate, and our hypothesis is if I pass calculus. Okay, so let's move on to example B. Example B says, use the statement, all prime numbers are odd, Rewrite it in if-then format, determine the hypothesis and conclusion, and then identify whether or not it is a true statement. So first of all, rewrite it in if-then format. says we need to find out what the question and what the answer is. So the hypothesis, or sort of the proposal, is that all prime numbers, so these are the things we're talking about, are odd. So here's the occurrence, and here's the numbers themselves. Again, this one looks, looks to me like it's just sort of written in reverse order. If a number is prime, then it is an odd number. Yeah, so now we have our if and then our then, and that makes it pretty easy to identify hypothesis and conclusion. The conclusion, of course, is in red, and the hypothesis is in green the statement if a number is prime and the conclusion then it is an odd number and then finally is this a true statement well are all prime numbers odd well, almost uh, the only prime number that's not odd is two because it can only be divided by itself in one any other prime number would have to be odd because if it's an even number it'll obviously be divided by divisible by itself and two and one so this is not a true statement but it's pretty close There's only one real, real uh, sort of exclusion to it. Okay, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, determine the hypothesis and conclusion to Sarah will go to the store if Riley does the laundry. All right, and so again, this looks like another example where it's just been written in reverse order. Um, the question, or the sort of proposal is that Riley will do the laundry, and the result of Riley doing the laundry is that Sarah will go to the store. So if Riley does the laundry, then Sarah will go to the store. So we can write it that way. If Riley does laundry, then Sarah, sorry, I wrote those in colors backwards there, but just kept them separate, will go to the store. So I swapped the colors obviously, but uh, we can see that this first part is the, the hypothesis and the second part is the conclusion. And there we have it.